So finally, it's here. We are talking about Ancient OS version 7.3 based on Android 13. It's been a long time since the last update of this most customizable custom room, but maybe this could be one of the best because this custom room is only one of the few custom rooms which brings you insane number of customizations. I mean, if you explore these customizations, you will never get to know that how many customizations this custom room gives you. Some of them are features, some of them are just kind of customizations. So it depends upon you if you want to use them or not. One of the things which I liked about this update is the new settings UI. Settings UI already have some customizations previously too, but with this new update, this kind of new settings homepage is introduced and this is one of the things which I liked. As this custom room already brings you a lot of customizations, so if you move on the feature section, system, journal, features and theming options are already present here for you. We will try to look into these some of the features, for example, this Google services option, option which was not available in the previous update, it was removed in the previous update and then because QPR 3 update was not actually released for this custom room, it, it is now coming after a few months. So all the features, missing features, Google services enable, disable, parallel space option and also the storage encryption spoofing option is also introduced, ignore secure window flags and also the frame in screen record as expectedly all the spoofing options are present here like the higher fps in games photos and etc etc which you can simply try to enable and explore all these things on your device too if it is available for you this custom home is unfortunately available for only few of the devices that is it is private source so if it is available officially then perfect if it is not unofficially this option will not be available for you this is also one of the settings UI which you can customize moving into themes options, settings, homepage theme. You can simply adjust according to your own preference. We have some theming options available. This is what I was using at the starting of this video, this kind of settings UI, which is available in the theming section, homepage and settings homepage theme. Second last is like this one where you have very simple minimalistic UI, but actually one of the best is the last one. Let me show you oxygen OS style. This actually looks so perfect. This is how it is looking like the left side icons of the settings are just looking so amazing. It looks like we're using oxygen OS and same with the about phone style too. If you move on to the about phone style, you already know that how the default UI is looking like. The default is quite simple, but if you move on to the theming section and move on to settings home page theme, sorry, not this one. If I move on to the about phone style and choose the oxygen OS style, then settings UI and the home page about phone UI, all these things are looking same as oxygen OS style looks quite impressive. Same with that, if I move on to the system overlays, all the theming options, I, I don't think so any theming option is missing from here. We have a lot of switch styles available. Some of them are just for fun. Dialogue corner style, which I don't think is available in few of the custom rooms. Icon shape as expectedly is present here in this custom room too, where you can adjust the icon shape according to your own preference. Some Wi-Fi icon styles are there, but there are many signal icons available. Signal icon options are a lot. UI style as expectedly. Some status bar icon styles. There are many options available for you. Data icons and fonts as expected many customizations available here and there if I move on to the status bar customizations you can enable or disable some icons from status bar but we also have the option to customize the status bar clock in clock we also have some few more customizations in clock background where we have colors option to customize like gradient options you can do a lot more things whatever you are expecting how many customizations what you were expecting you were expecting in this custom room Many of them are just available and these are just so amazing. There are many more and to be very honest, some customizations are just not even you use on a device, but yes, just for fun. For my personal opinion, if you want to try out instant OS, just try it for fun because more customizations, more chances that you will not get the stable update. I'm not sure I don't use instant OS as my daily driver. I made videos already on how many custom homes I use on my device as my daily driver. I use almost close to stock because those are not having major bugs in instant OS. This custom room is good, but just for fun. To be very honest, just for fun. If you want to try out a custom room which is having insane number of customizations, you want to customize your device for a day or two days, simply use and explore. But if you want to use it as your daily driver, 
I don't think so. It's just my personal opinion. Things might be different in your case. As you can see, many customizations in battery section, many customizations in almost everything is what you can customize. For example, if I move on to the other options here in quick settings panel, you can see this new data usage option. This is one of my favorite feature, which is available in Spark OS, which is available in Corvus OS, which is available in this custom room too. I think so Rising OS also brings you this one. You can simply disable this option to revert back to this default one. But in my personal opinion, the alternative data usage option looks so amazing. You have the total usage from boot, etc. I absolutely love this feature. We also have the option like this, which is absolutely bad. To be very honest, it's bad. Let me show you why I'm talking about this one like this. Quick settings panel background. I don't know why this is available here because this is, isn't looking that good at all. If I enable this disco option like this, which who will use this feature? I don't think so many of you or maybe some of you will use this thing at all. This is looking so weird and this is one of the features which is available in Instant OS and that is why I said some time ago that this custom room is not for daily use but it's good enough. It's, it's absolutely stunning if you want to give it a try at least for a day or two days because it's good for fun. Exploring all these customizations are good enough. It's totally up to you if you want to try it out on a device or not. Customizations in status bar, customizations in quick settings panel, customizations everywhere. Even in the lock screen, we have some options to customize. Some lock screen clocks are so amazing. For example, if I enable this option, let me show you how this lock screen clock is looking like. This is looking so good. These clocks are actually available in only few of the custom rooms and some custom rooms are not even giving you this kind of things free. And that's quite impressive. This is how the lock screen clocks are available. We also have some analog clock styles available. If I try to choose this, we have greet style. Let me show you how this is looking like, like this one. We have this good afternoon text and etc, etc. So these are some amazing things regarding lock screen. We have some options that to do other options too. For example, if I enable this analog style clock, let me show you. We also have to customize, have, have the option to customize the analog clock also like this one. So these are some amazing things and things which are present in ancient OS. If you want to give it a try, you can. It's totally up to you. If you want to explore a custom home, having insane number of customizations, you can definitely check it out. This custom home, as expectedly, brings you this kind of launcher, which is having icon pack options, home screen options, the same options available in literally every custom home. Based on Launcher 3, name is Ancient Launcher, but you know that I know that the Launcher 3 base launcher is always, always the same launcher. App locker option is also present in the security section. So if you're considering about locking your apps, yes, it's present here. Other options are basically same. So these were the things I just wanted to let you know. This was the first look about Ancient OS 7.3 based on Android 13. Let's see when they will bring you Android 14 as Android 14 is coming very, very soon. Let's see how and when Android 14 custom homes are coming. But until then, make sure to subscribe the channel for those things which are coming very soon.